Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's uh, video I've uh, been meaning to do for quite some time now, and it's going to be a video on my entire collection of uh, the character Freezer from Dragon Ball Z. Now, when you've got a username like the Ultimate Freezer, this seems uh, quite an appropriate video. So sit back, guys, and enjoy, and let's get this video started. Okay, so I'm going to do just a, a quick look with the camera first of everything that's out here before I uh, move in closer and give a more detailed description of what I've got out on show here. Uh, a little bit about me. I've uh, been a fan of Dragon Ball Z since the late 90s when it first aired on UK Toonami. It was the first anime I uh, ever watched. Freezer is indeed my um, favourite villain and character from the series. And... Um, a little fun fact, my username, the Ultimate Freezer, it's not just um, a name I just come up with randomly. It's actually quoted from uh, episode 97 of Dragon Ball Z, which was uh, titled Namek's Destruction. It's where Lindy Young's Freezer quotes, you're about to face the Ultimate Freezer. So there's a little uh, fun fact for you. So uh, let's move in forward and start this description off. We'll start on the left hand side, working my way to the right. So we'll start out with this quite big item here. This is indeed Freezer's spaceship. I picked this up uh, just recently, actually, in a Comic Con in May uh, this year, 2014, depending on when you're watching this video. It's a really cool piece, really nicely detailed. There's actually two versions of this. There's sort of this one, and then there's um, another one which has a uh, Freezer's final form on the box. That one has a sort of more metallic-y looking one. Whereas this one's sort of more, uh, I'd say, based on the actual um, the anime itself, the way it looks. Uh, on the top, I have a small first form freezer. See, they get a good look there. Uh, I do actually have the box out for this one. This is from a Japanese set. I'm not sure what that says there, that's in Japanese, but this is from the volume 3, it's number 17, there was a huge range of characters you could get from uh, each volume, as you can see there you've got Zarb on Dodoria and all the Ginyu Force. On the bottom here is actually the only thing that's uh, not actually Freezer in this collection, although it is related to him, this is actually King Cold, obviously uh, Freezer's father. Really nicely detailed figure. He's a sort of more like chibi looking style for Dragon Ball Z figures. I do have the box out for this one as well. These were only uh, four pound each. I picked these up while in uh, London a couple of years back. Here's some of the other characters you'd get from this volume. You got Mecha Freezer there. Moving on to this figure right here, this is uh, from the HQ DX range, this is obviously Freezer's first form, really like this figure, it's, it's definitely my favourite um, first form Freezer figure I own, you can just see the amount of detail you've got on the face there, I'll zoom in as much as I can without it blurring, absolute awesome job on the paint job there, the armour looks really fantastic, you've got that absolute shine as if it actually is sort of uh, made out of... Um, I'm not sure what the actual they're actually made out of in the anime, but it looks very metallic looking. And you've got the illusion there that he's actually floating in the air, because uh, his towel is actually the thing that's holding him to the base. So it looks really cool. Moving next to it, uh, you may notice that... Um, I am missing Freezer's second form from the HQ DX range. It is something I'm looking out for at various conventions. It's online quite a lot, but it's always import and the fees are usually ridiculous. But yeah, we're moving straight on to Freezer's third form uh, from the HQ DX range. This is a really cool figure. It's pretty hard to see his face there. I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll pop the camera down. I can move him a little bit and you get a better look. So a uh, really cool form of Freezer. This this form seems to have sort of a cult following, even though it was only actually in the show like about one and a half episodes. He 
yeah really nice figure very accurately uh, looking to how he is in the actual show so he's got that massive back hunched over completely the, the uh, half part of his tail has been chopped off there we go I've got it in the shot and now moving on to this one this is uh, obviously Freezer's final form from the HQ DX range really nice looking figure very accurately looking of how he appears in the show Get a zoom in of the face there There we go. So I say this is another one I picked up at a shop in London. I don't often buy uh, imports, mostly because uh, if you live in the United Kingdom you usually get slapped a massive import fee when you ever buy something abroad. Okay, now moving to this guy at the front here. Now this is a figure I really love. This is actually uh, pretty newly released actually by um, only about a year. This is from the SHF Figure Arts range of obviously uh, Final Form Freezer. Now I actually did a review of this a few months ago so if you want to see a bit more detail on it and me showing you some examples of the poses you can have him in then I'd recommend checking that video out. But yeah, this is a highly customizable pose. You can literally have him in any pose you literally want, you get multiple hands, feet, uh, add on for the towel, even a choice of three faces. Now, I've obviously got him in the very iconic uh, cliff face pose when he returns from being attacked with a spirit bomb and about to uh, kill Krillin. But yeah, in terms of um, the purple parts that are on Freezer, I'd say this figure here definitely now is it the closest for how realistically it looks. I'm not sure what the uh, the paint they've used on this one, but it's very glossy and really gives it that sort of um, sort of realistic appeal. Comparing it to the uh, the HQ DX figure freezer next to there, you can just see just how much better the paint job is on the uh, the purple parts. And I'd say this is probably one of the better faces, that probably one of the best actually in terms of accuracy of uh, Freezer's face. So yeah, definitely a figure I would uh, recommend. Although the prices for this one have gone up exponentially. Now I picked mine up quite some time ago when it was around, uh, I think it was around £40. Since then, when I've been looking, the prices I've seen are usually around double that now. So, yeah. If you can pick it up for a pretty good price, I'd recommend it. But at the moment, the prices are going up and up and up, unfortunately. Now moving to over to the right here. Now this is a really detailed freezer figure. It's obviously from Freezer's 100% form. Sort of looks like the pose where he's just done as soon as he's gone 100% full power. Now the figure set I believe this was from, as I did try to look for it, because I don't have the box at handy, was a band Presto B Culture figure. I believe that is what the uh, the figure series come from. There's also some uh, other, they also have obviously released other high end uh, Dragon Ball Z characters, uh, such as Goku. But yeah, this is... Um, probably say this is my favorite freezer figure that I own mostly just for how realistically and detailed it is you can see just how well they've done on the paint job there with the blood splats all over his body absolute really angry expression I'll zoom in there as close as I can without it blurring up there we go so you can see you've got that absolutely furious expression that he uh, expresses at the um, towards the end of the Freezer Saga. And you've obviously got this uh, purple energy aurora going all around him, which was obviously Freezer's signature power colour. Also, it's a pretty unique, because I'm not sure how well it's picking it up, but you can actually, the purple parts of this figure are actually sort of see-through. It's sort of a bit of an interesting, because it's sort of, you can sort of see part of the plastic sort of like underneath it. 
and when you look at the top part of him it actually sort of looks like a bit like a brain so it's not terribly uh, a fan of like they should have done that I would have rather it have been a, a solid um, purple plastic as opposed to a see-through much like the SHF figure arts but yeah still overall a really awesome figure now then, moving on to this one. Now I've recently reviewed this only a few weeks ago. This is from uh, this is very newly released. This is from the Fig Arts Zero range, and it's it's uh, one of the more budget available freezer figures out there. But that does not mean it's short on detail at all, as uh, the quality on this one is still exceptional. Not as uh, high detail as the um, this one, but it's not too far off it. As you can see you've got the uh, really awesome sort of uh, veins popping out of his body there. That menacing expression on his face there again, sort of like where he's completely lost it. I'm not sure the pose that this uh, entirely from this one. I'm trying to think. But yeah, they've also done a really good job on the mouth here. It's uh, you've, they've. Um, They've painted it very sort of like a glossy type paint, giving it the illusion that his tongue is actually wet, which looks really cool. And the actual uh, energy aurora around him here, I'd actually say looks a lot better than uh, this one. You can see just how much more uh, deeper uh, purple and more vibrant it is. And it's also, it's really, it's actually, it is actually quite sharp, as opposed to this one, which is uh, more flimsy feeling and plasticky. He is actually on, giving him another illusion that he's actually floating in air, which is standard for the figure arts uh, bases they've got there. You've got him sort of on um, two cloud formations there. So yeah, really cool. Pretty affordable at this stage. You can pick him up pretty easily online if you don't mind uh, getting him abroad. But um, chances are the prices will end up going up for him if it's anything like the SHF figure arts. Moving to the front of the figure zero, we have this one right here. Now this is obviously Freezer's third form and it is actually just his head. And it is a money box, would you believe? There's actually a coin slot there at the top. I'll show you there. It's a pretty interesting uh, figure. It's definitely something uh, you wouldn't put in a kid's room, let's just say that. As it certainly looks uh, very evil looking. But it, it's it's interesting because it's very sort of like I don't know what you'd say realism, like is it not actually sort of like cartoon because it's really got a scaly features of uh, the part of his like his horns and the part going around his eyes there. The expression I can only imagine it sort of looks a bit like maybe when he's transforming into his final stage. Just the fact that his pupils that he has no pupils it's just completely white there. You've got an absolute furious sort of expression there on his teeth. Moving to these guys here. Now this is actually a figure set um, I imported. Um, I believe it was from Japan. Now I know I said I don't import much, but these were pretty cheap to pick up. And um, I do have the little sleeve that actually come with these figures. Uh, this was basically a set of um, it was seven figures, I believe. How I many is that? Yeah, there's actually um, so you're obviously getting all of Freezer's forms as well as his uh, mecha form. But I can show you on the piece of paper there. It picks up. There was also a Piccolo and a Super Saiyan uh, Goku. Now obviously as they're small, the detail isn't obviously as exceptional as the um, the ones I've just shown you, but they're still pretty decent. So we'll start out with Freezer's first form there at the back. And obviously going to second and third. I'll give you a closer look because the detail is pretty darn decent for a, a small figure, especially a cheap one. So, you know, I mean, the, the job on the face is actually pretty decent. You have got that sort of see-through appeal on the purple again, which sort of uh, makes it look a lot more like a toy. 
but um, yeah. This is actually probably my favourite one out of this small figure set, and it's actually the only piece of um, Mecha Freezer merchandise I own. Is it going to pick up there? Not sure. Doesn't like it when I get too close, does it? If I pop him down and zoom in that way. There we go. So yeah, he looks pretty cool. There isn't actually a lot of Mecha Freeze merchandise out there. There is um, one figure I've seen quite commonly of Mecha Freezer. I uh, can't remember the uh, set it's come from. I believe it's from the same sort of series from uh, this third form Freezer Bank. Obviously, though, it is a whole figure, but in my opinion, it looks absolutely terrible. It's definitely something I would not want in my collection. It sort of looks so bad, it looks like a bootleg. Let's move on to the item at the back there, as I haven't stated. For anyone not known, that is actually the Season 3 of the Dragon Ball Z, obviously the Freezer Saga, in uh, Blu-ray. And coming this way, this is uh, Season 3 again, however the, um, the orange uh, the box set versions, or orange bricks as they've been dubbed. Now this big item at the back here, I'm sure you probably guess what this is, this is actually an animation cell. Uh, that's uh, Freezer's second form. I picked this up uh, sometime last year at uh, one of the Comic Cons, I can't remember which one, over the May or October one. But yeah, that's a really nice uh, cell. I would maybe like to one day get um, a final form Freezer animation cell, but for now this one is uh, certainly doing nicely. Before I forget, I actually missed this one right here. This is actually this uh, freezer at the back here on the, the black display. This is actually just sort of like a sleeve that you'd put uh, papers in. But it looks pretty cool and I have it on uh, displayed on one of my walls. Obviously you've got the iconic uh, final form uh, freezer pose there. Now then, moving on to the items I have laid out in front of you here. These are actually Dragon Ball Z trading cards that will uh, feature either entirely on Freezer or around the saga or some of the characters. Uh, this one right here, I'll start with this one. This uh, is a Dragon Ball Z collectible card game, it says there. It says Start A. Um, these trading card sets were released, um, I believe, about six years ago. And I'll open it up and show you what the contents you get inside here. In fact, I'll just pull the uh, the whole thing out. I believe that is everything out of there. No, there's one more thing. You've got uh, the rule book telling you uh, how to play the game. There was obviously other starter decks that you could pick up. And uh, on the back here we have, this looks like the map that you would have played the card game on, if I remember rightly. Yes, it is. So I might have to zoom out a little bit here just to show you. So we've got a big picture of Freezer on there. Obviously how you would uh, play the game. I haven't actually played this card game, so I'm not too familiar on the rules. There's uh, nothing on the back of that one either, it's just uh, completely white. Now the cards you get in here are actually pretty cool, they're actually pretty highly detailed as well. So this is uh, one of them for example, you've also got like, Freezer's henchmen on the back of the cards, oops, excuse me. You've got Dragon Ball Z. Put these ones aside a minute. Just do a quick once over of these cards that you're getting in here. There's obviously True Power, one of Freezer's second form. There's obviously, as I said, other characters. Looks like it's ranging from uh, Dragon Ball as well. Got that um, Piccolo Jr. symbol. Yeah, it's been quite a long time since I've looked at these cards, so I, I can't remember who you're getting in here. 
There's a, a shiny card here, obviously a Freezer's first form. It looks pretty awesome. And we have Freezer's the second form. Third form. Another true power one. There's obviously uh, doubles in here because obviously if you're playing this game, I only imagine it would be a bit like Pokemon. You'd need uh, other cards to sort of power you up. It looks like that's pretty much it. They're like all doubles. Oh now we've got another one here. Got Emperor P Laugh's Wish. And we got this one right here. Now this one looks like you actually uh, remove the Dragon Balls because these actually do pop out. I haven't obviously done that. And obviously you'd use that with your uh, playing the cards. So you obviously collect the Dragon Balls um, throughout as you're playing the card game. As obviously there must be different wish cards, as I've just shown you uh, Emperor Pilaf's wish. Moving on to the other trading cards I've got here. I've got this one right here, which is uh, Dragon Ball Z. Obviously it says collectible card game. This one's actually based off the Trunks Saga. You get 11 an additional game cards, it says there, as well as a powerful rare card inside. Now I believe I bought this one about... It must have been at least over 10 years ago. It's quite an old one. Now, I obviously bought it thinking I'd probably get a freezer card in there, but if I remember rightly, my luck, I didn't actually get a single freezer in there. Now, my uh, my rare holo card would be a Bulma one. <laughs> so, yeah. I actually do own many different versions of Dragon Ball Z trading cards. I'll probably end up doing a video of it one day, just showing all the different sorts that I've got. So yeah, no freezer cards inside, but at least you've got a, a pretty awesome um, packet that it comes in. Now the next one. Now these ones, I've actually got a few of these out here. These are pretty awesome. And definitely my favourite out of the Dragon Ball Z trading cards that I own. These are obviously trading cards. Um, these were released in, uh, I believe it's the early 2000s. Uh, and actually was released in United Kingdom. It was available in like paper shops and everything, and I'd certainly bought many of these over the, the period they were out. Now it's based uh, off the Freezer Saga, although it does have cards, um, some cards from the beginning of Dragon Ball, as well as uh, going up to the Saiyan Saga, going to obviously ending at the Freezer Saga. This set, I'm gonna uh, show you uh, obviously in more detail, but going towards just one of the packets. Obviously, you've got Freezer there. Super Saiyan Goku, Freezer Saga. You get uh, six trading cards inside. Uh, a part of this collection, there is actually. <coughs> Hopefully, that's picking that up. As you can see there, who will be the first to gather all seven Dragon Balls? This collection consists of uh, 95 trading cards. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me there. <coughs> Including two checklist cards. Uh, nine special cards, which were pretty rare to get hold of, as well as one very rare collector card. So yeah, now I'm going to actually show you the set I've got from these trading cards. Okay, now this is uh, the Dragon Ball Z Freezer Saga trading cards. Um, it's pretty much a near complete collection. What I mean by near complete is, I said there's 95 cards from this set. I actually own 94. There is one card that's eluded me that I've never been able to get hold of for all these years for some reason. And the funny thing is it's not even one of the rare cards, it's actually one of the common cards. But I'll come to that as I show you through uh, the cards. So this is what they look like. You've got really nice quality artwork on each card. It's got Freezer Saga written across every card there in a silver writing. You've got these sort of, if they say, rarer cards because they're sort of um, all completely in silver. We've got Goku there, Gohan, Krillin, and Yamcha. And on the back of the cards, you have a description of each of the ones. As you can see, I'll move in there. I'm obviously not going to read out every single one, so I'll just do a quick once over of the camera. Try to hold it as straight as I can. The writing, however, this part here is always the same on each card. Moving over to the next page. 
age. And now we move on to some of the rare cards, not these three at the top, it's these ones that start here, which will, uh, you got um, Freezer's forms here, you've obviously got these first, third, there's no second one for some reason though, um, Final, as well as uh, Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, that's not a different card there, that's actually the same card as that one, I've done that just to uh, fill the slot up. As uh, I wanted this whole page to feature just the uh, the hollow ones, the ho I say hollow cards. What I mean by that is, if I lift the page up, you see that they're actually sort of um, clear and see-through, featuring colours that would uh, feature from that part of the show. Obviously, you've got the green background there, as well as some blue at the bottom. The freezer ones are mostly consistent of purple backgrounds, and uh, this one here. Goku's got like a red and Super Saiyan Goku is like a blue. I'm not sure how well that's picking it up. But yeah. And them ones actually have uh, the same backs, obviously just the mirror reversed image. And then the card set continues with these ones. Still obviously from the Freezer saga. Ah, now this one's pretty cool. This one actually consists of a, a complete picture, which is why I didn't start with uh, start it on this one, which is why I put a double there. Because when I turn this full set of nine cards over, you get a complete picture, which looks pretty cool. And then it carries on from over here. This is sort of like the Dragon Ball Z timeline. It sort of starts uh, with this one here, which is obviously 20 years before... Um, uh, Goku was still a baby and uh, Freezer was about to blow up Planet Vegeta. And it goes through the timeline, obviously Raditz is a rival, Piccolo and Goku fighting Raditz. And it gives a bit of a description to the Dragon Ball Z timeline there. Very briefly I might add that. And it continues. This is actually the only card I'm missing. This one right here. It is actually card number 59. Maybe one day I'll be able to get hold of it. And this. Pretty funny one there of Bulma and Freezer. It's probably one of my favourites in this set just because it's just so uh, ridiculous. I believe that was from the filler episode Bulma's Adventure around the Namek Saga. And now, obviously, we get to the final freezer. And the last six cards from this set. These two here are the checklist cards. On the back of them, it contains, obviously, all the cards you need to tick off to complete the set. This card here is the... Uh, this one. This is the super rare card, which is sort of like a hollow card, which is really shiny there. I'm not sure how it picks it up. Now, I've bought many... I dare to think how many packs I've actually bought from this uh, set, but I only ever managed to get him once up here. And I own a lot of doubles, so he's a really rare card. He looks really awesome too. 
there's nothing about him on the back that it says there, it just says obviously Freezer Dragon Ball Z series uh, 1. Uh, each trading card pack was 99p when it first came out. It was either 99p or a pound, so it wasn't an expensive trading card set, which is why I didn't mind buying so many of them. Okay, there's actually one last freezer item I haven't shown you yet. I don't actually have them out on display, and I will tell you why. It's this freezer right here. Now, it's not a figure at all. In fact, it's more like a, an ornament, because he's actually made out of porcelain. And uh, he's not, he wasn't a very expensive figure when I picked him up. However, he got knocked over once, and um, his thumb snapped right off there. You can see it picked up there. Um, as well as uh, his feet, part of his toes actually snapped off. Now I managed to glue them back on, but his thumb, I think that's been lost somewhere, so I've never actually been able to find that. It's an okay freezer ornament, I mean, it, it's not really nowhere near as detailed as uh, the ones I've already shown you. Because it's basically just pure white, there's only a very minimal shading on this uh, this freezer. So yeah. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, video, guys. Uh, the only thing I didn't really show in my uh, collection here is maybe some of the Dragon Ball Z games that feature Freezer on the front cover. Didn't really see the need to put them on there. Uh, in the future, I might get around to doing a, an entire Dragon Ball Z uh, upload, as in everything that I own merchandise-wise from Dragon Ball Z. If you'd like to see that video, then... Uh, Leave me a comment below, guys, and maybe I'll get around to doing that one day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did uh, making it. It was uh, pretty fun getting all my freezer gear out and putting it all together with one whole display here. Yeah, um, in other news, I'm sure people watching this, you've already seen the announcement for the next Dragon Ball Z film, which is uh, coming out in 2015, which is a sequel to Battle of Gods. I know some people are calling, well using the name Battle of Gods 2 for the film but um, Freezer is making a huge dramatic return to this film which has really got me excited for it uh, judging by the poster uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can see the actual poster for the film he is on the centre image of the poster and it looks like he's going to be a, a big part of this film I believe the plot line for it, from what I've read, is that there are two new Freezer soldiers that haven't been killed. They make their way to Earth and use the Dragon Balls to revive Freezer. So it's going to be really interesting to see. I'm not sure whether they're going to give Freezer a huge power boost or maybe he gets his wish for immortality. I've also seen some rumours circulating that you might actually see Freezer's fifth form in this show. But it's going to be uh, really interesting to see. Judging by the poster, you've also got the return of Beerus and Whis. So that's going to be interesting. I really did enjoy Battle of Gods. I um, did enjoy it, so I'm even more so looking forward to uh, the sequel. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Or maybe if you have uh, first time checking my video out, a sub is always greatly appreciated. I'll always have... Uh, more Dragon Ball Z content in future uploads. As I'll say again guys, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys soon with another upload.